I do. Smacked down. Hello, everybody. So this is Boom Boom Mose. This build is insane. It melts Mayhem Ten with no issue. Um. So we're gonna go over the skill tree, the gear, Mayhem modifiers. And the compatibility between skills and everything else that we need to go over. So, um, we're going to start off with the green tree. And for the first points, we're going to put 5 in match set. So, the reason we're putting 5 in match set and not cloud of lead is because cloud of lead can actually interrupt the damage we're getting from our shock and corrosion weapons. Such as our plague bears and backburners. So I decided not to put points there. Um, put one in redistribution. One we score a crit. We get health regen and ammo regen. Which, while RPGs do get really slow regen, it's still important to have that regen. Scrappy. We are going to put five there for weapon damage and weapon swap speed. RPGs swap really slowly. And then it's also, of course, weapon damage. Um, after that, we're going to put one Russian offensive. When holding rocket launchers, we move really slow in the first place. So Russian offensive can help us get that little bit of extra speed as well as get life steal. Um, so then we're gonna put five in scorching RPMs for fire rate on the rocket launchers. The back burner gets really good fire rate from this, as well as the plague bearer also has a little bit of an increase on the fire rate as well. Um, next we're gonna put four in iron bank. We're going to do this for the mag size. We don't want to put all five because the more mag size we have, the more ammo we go through. Put one and some for the road. We need, so we gain infinite ammo after um, exiting Iron Bear. This is really good for mobbing sections in the Malawan and Guardian Takedown. We, we already go through a lot of ammo, so the infinite ammo helps a lot. Um, we're going to go three and click click. While even having Iron Bank, some for the road, and redistribution, we still are going to get low on our mag. So we still can get that extra damage boost from click click. Um, we're going to put 1 and 4. Just kind of the same thing as redistribution. Slow regen, but we still get the regen. So it's very helpful. But that's it for green tree. Um, yeah, so next we're going to go on the blue tree. Blue tree is where a lot of our damage comes from. And we all love damage. So we're going to put 5 in grizzled. So this doesn't make sense to a lot of people. but uh, So I'm going to thank Ritsu Caps on Twitter for this. Uh, they found out that Fire and Skag Den, the incendiary damage doesn't scale to Mayhem 10. So you still get the damage boost, but it doesn't scale at all. So that's why we didn't spec here. Also, um, the bonus incendiary doesn't help us as much. Tor cross motion, this is for extra splash and splash radius. With our class mod, we actually get 9 out of 5 here. Then we're going to put uh, 3 in Means of Destruction. With how much splash damage we're doing, we're going to, no matter what, get that chance to add ammo and grenades to our inventory. Um, next, we're going to put 1 and pull the Holy Pin. So we're only putting 1 here because that's all we need. So that uh, since our grenades can crit, it can proc skills like Redistribution. And then we're going to go on Auto Bear for compatibility with the skill in Orange Tree. I'll, I'll explain. Um, then we're going to put 3 in Vampire. This is for health regen from our minesweeper and our grenades that we throw. We're going to put two in why can't I carry all these grenades. We're no matter what going to need grenades even while using the minesweeper for the really health restoration. Then we're going to go fight uh, to, the, uh, to the last. So here's another thing with um, grenades. Since we can throw them, grenades can proc the guardian skill uh, too angry to die. So they can constantly help us with not dying as well as i can again proc redistribution so we don't have to worry as much about reload animations we're gonna put four in explosive punctuation for more cooldown rate and then we'll put one in short fuse this leaves us to three points left and here you can kind of choose what you want to do here but we're going to go into orange tree we're going to put two in armored infantry and one in security bear so in armored infantry we need our shields to be active to get the damage boost and since Auto Bear is going to be active as well as Security Bear. We're going to be able to sit in his bubble and get that damage boost. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the skill tree. For uh, skill tree, uh, for your action skill and your augments, you're going to want to use uh, Vanquisher Rocket Pods with uh, Target Softening.
Not time to go over the gear. So I'm not going to bring up the gear on screen, but I will talk about it and what I recommend and what you should get. Um, this build's mainly focused around Plague Bearers and Backburners. And for the Backburners, you're going to want ASE Splash. So you, here's what you can do. If you want, you can go with 160 Splash um, for longer action, like the, the uh, <laughs> longer duration of the Splash damage. Or you can go for the 200, which is more damage but less duration. Um, that's mainly our bossing weapon. And then the Plague Bearer. So we're using this with consecutive hits. Um, it's a, The Plague Bearer is our mobbing weapon mainly. So we um, the 200 splash works, but I would recommend consecutive hits over it because you get more damage stacks off of it, especially since you can stack up to 200%. Um, for your shield, I recommend an old god or a, um, or a transformer uh, with ASC. My I'm using a fire old god with ASC corrosive. It, mine has triple turtle on it. Um, for your Calm, you're gonna to want to use a minesweeper. I use my minesweeper with um, re one in redistribution and four in torque cross promotion for extra damage. Um, if you're artifact, you're gonna to want to use the pearl of ineffable knowledge oh, and always keep a cut purse launch pad on you because you do go through ammo and no matter what, you're gonna go through ammo really fast. Um, for your cloning maddening tracker, you're is that's gonna be your grenade. That's I use mine with ASC cryo. And grenades are scaling Thursday, supposedly. So you could go do something with that. Um, if you want to kill bosses like Grave Ward, I recommend having a Fire Ion Cannon with Times Two, with 200 Splash. So with I have a Times One with 200 Splash. This can actually deal if you have good enough RNG with the Minesweeper. It can actually take off half of his ha uh, health bar. I don't know how it works, but I'm guessing if you have Times Two, then you can <laughs> one shot him. Um, now we're going to go over Mayhem modifiers. So, these are going to be extremely important for this build, mainly due to us needing speed and such. So, if you're an easy modifier, I definitely recommend you get Speed Demon. Speed Demon is going to save us because of how slow we move with rocket launchers in our hands. Um, and since that can stack up three times, that's 150% uh, speed, uh, speed boost. Each stack lasting 10 seconds. Um, your medium, I'd recommend free stack mainly because it's the only one that's kind of a, it's the only neutral modifier. It doesn't reduce our damage. It also doesn't benefit us or the enemy. Yes, the slowing is a little annoying, but the modifiers in this game kind of suck right now. Um, next I'd go for, for your hard modifier. I'm using pool party, but I recommend laser spinners mainly because you don't take as big of a dot from them as pool party. And then for your very hard modifier, no matter what, the very hard hard modifiers are gonna suck. So I'd recommend going with post mortem, mainly because if you're since we're using so much splash damage, we're gonna be downing ourselves. So we don't want to use roguelite, especially since fight fear less it doesn't work uh, with. Uh, to, it doesn't cancel out roguelite anymore. And then buddy system, it's hard to hit the buddy systems with rocket launchers because the plague bearer doesn't lock onto it. Um, so you have to be really lucky with your splash on either of your guns if you want to use it. But, uh, yeah. So that's your mayhem modifiers. That's everything, really, for this build. I hope you enjoy this build. It's insane. Uh, it can definitely, it definitely does some nice damage. I, but that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have fun playing this build. I hope you have fun playing DLC 3 on Thursday. I will be having a video for that on Friday. Um, and, uh, yeah, have fun, play with your friends, if you have them, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, please like, comment, and subscribe, <laughs> so a lot of stre YouTubers stress this, P you, they beg you to put on notifications, I'm not one of them, put on notifications if you'd like, I'm not forcing you to, and, uh, yeah, I will s talk to you all, f hopefully Friday, if I actually get that video out, and, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all next time. See y'all later. Peace out.